I was born and raised in a Muslim home with Muslim family. My father, mother, everybody were all practicing Muslim. Um, at a very tender age, we, we always go to Islamic school where uh, we would learn to recite the Quran every evening, and we would keep the month of Ramadan, and we would keep all the you would keep all the you would keep all the Eid Eid um, holidays. We would keep all the Eid Eid um, holidays and do whatever it takes to be a Muslim. Um, my, um, but um, one of the things that bothered me was that I was very fearful as a Muslim of death. One of the things that bothered me was that I was very fearful, I was very fearful as a Muslim of death, of death, of death. So help me. I was afraid of death. I was afraid of death. I was so fearful of dying when I was in, in Islam. I was afraid of death. I was afraid was af was af of death. Afraid of death. There was not a communication between me and God. God was very distant to me as, as, as a Muslim. God, 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 God. God was very distant to me as, as, as a Muslim. Christianity at a very young age, when I was 11, my brother accepted the Lord. I mean, at that time I didn't know what it was, but he was very close with me. And when he would go to church, I would go with him. And although at that time I didn't know who Christ was, although at that time I didn't know who Christ was, I didn't know who Christ was, I didn't know who Christ was. enjoyed it but in a ritualistic way it 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 didn't meant that much to me I and um the assurance of salvation was what really touched my heart that if i put my trust in jesus and he would forgive my sins and i'm on my way to heaven I have that assurance. I have that assurance. The assurance of salvation. I have. I have. The assurance of salvation. I have that assurance that when I die from this life, I will have eternal life. At, at the end of his preaching, the preacher was asking that whoever wants to accept Jesus in their heart, to ask Jesus to come into my heart. Accept Jesus in their heart. To come into my heart. In their heart. To come into my heart. To come into my heart. In their heart. To come into my heart that tonight is the night and that was when I decided to go up there and publicly tell them that I want to accept Jesus as much because if, if anyone knew me as a Muslim I don't think they would want to know me <laughs> place in my life I was a person that had a very very bad temper very angry person really I became a nicer person I, uh, um, I with each trials in my life, I get to know Jesus more and more, and I get to experience His love more in, um, in my life. I didn't know that I had sin in my life, because all I was taught was that if, I be a, if I'm a good person, if I keep the seven pillars of Islam, I the seven pillars of Islam, the seven pillars of Islam, the seven pillars of Islam. In, in, um, I remember in Islam there was no mention of sin at all. It was all like wrongdoings. If you do something wrong, but if you... Oh, there is that, um, if, you, if you really seek God, you will find Him. You have, if you really seek Him with an open mind, because we cannot convince anyone who Jesus is. It, it's, I think it's an individual thing that someone...